Welcome to Rob's Rogues and the BatmanUniverse.net. And today we're taking a look at the DC Comics Icons line by DC Collectibles. This is figure one. It is, of course, Batman. Now, uh, I've already reviewed or shot the review for Blue Beetle. So um, I'll probably end up putting the Blue Beetle up first because I do make reference that, you know, it's the first figure that I uh, bought. So... Anyway, uh, this is a line that is really kind of dividing um, a lot of us collectors from uh, DC Collectibles. Um, I've been a big supporter of DC Collectibles. I've liked uh, pretty much every uh, line that they've come out with. Uh, the articulation on these guys is really, really good. It kind of uh, rivals Marvel's Legends and DC Universe Classics. Um, they're made much better. But it's the size that's really uh, kind of throwing people for a loop, that they shrunk the size a little bit. It's They say 6 inch, it, they're just barely 6 inch. In most cases, they do not fit. They're more in line with the figure arts uh, figures. Uh, some characters can fit well with your DC UC figures. Um, I, it's one of the reasons why I bought Blue Beetle. I never got a Blue Beetle for uh, DC Universe Classics from Mattel. So he fits in uh, rather well with my Teen Titans. But if I go to put this Batman up against the DC Universe Classics Joker, the Joker is much taller. And they look, they're a little thinner, a little smaller. So uh, this, is, this is probably going to be a line I'm not going to dive in too deeply on. If this was the very first line in uh, DC Collectibles, if I was a new collector and I missed the new 52 figures uh, that we have been having the last five years or so, this would feel pretty good that I'm kind of starting fresh and I know that I've got figures in all different sizes and shapes and, and all of that type of stuff. But it's... I, I really wanted these to fit in with the DC Collectibles standard action figures which is like seven and a quarter or something like that. I'll have to look at the size chart after I get him open to uh, say for sure I don't have it exactly right with me. So uh, DC Collectibles is still doing their designer series line and the Arkham uh, figures are in that line and there's still some new 52 figures that I'm trying to complete that collection. But this is going to be, okay, another set of figures on another shelf. So long story short, all this blathering right here I think I'm only really going to be picking up the primary Bat Family characters. Um, I don't see me getting any other ones. Somebody's going to have to be really, really cool looking for me to pick up. But I'm just trying to watch what I'm spending here. And after I saw the announcement from Toy Fair that they're going to be doing Batgirl, I thought, well, at least we're getting a Batgirl. I have my fingers crossed for maybe a Grayson in this line, although I would really like to see Grayson in a designer series. A Robin would be great. If if I can at least get a Robin from the Icons line, I'll be completely happy. I don't even care what Robin is. I don't care if it doesn't match this uh, particular Batman here. So now that I've rambled on long enough, hopefully you guys are okay with all of that. This is the pre-New 52 Batman, or is kind of what I'm referring to him as the Hush Batman. The Bat Emblem is very much like the Hush uh, bat logo that they came up with and he's in the blue and gray which is i think of all my favorite variations of batman aside from the batman incorporated suit this is probably one of my favorite suits i'm just i kind of like that blue and gray batman uh it would have been fantastic if they gave ben affleck the blue and gray batman but that he's black and gray that's that's also one of my favorite suits but we got the blue and gray version here which is cool like I said, it's the Icon line. It's the Last Rights Batman. So I'm going to have to pull up the artwork here um, to see the Last Rights. Um, I think this is referring to the Batman R.I.P. storyline. And if I'm not mistaken, Last Rights might have been a Robin comic. So it'd be cool to get uh, the one year later Robin. So... 
unless they're pulling a quick one on us, I know this isn't the Dick Grayson Batman now that I'm saying that because I don't see the uh, Dick Grayson uh, belt that was the only thing that was really different. So I'll have to pull up the last rights and see. I, I believe it's the Batman R.I.P. storyline. So Hush, uh, last rights, we're really close in that ballpark. Uh, the other figures that have come out, and they've gone all across the board on this. Uh, Batman, Dead Man, uh, Green Arrow, and then the new 52, uh, Mr. Miracle. So they're mixing all of the lines in here. Uh, designed by Ivan Rice and sculpted by uh, Paul Harding. So I have Blue Beetle. I do like the quality of the figure. Uh, but like I said, he's a little small all the way around. We've got tons of accessories here. So I know this intro has gone on a little too long here. So I apologize. We'll get Batman out of the package and we'll get a closer look at the DC Icons Batman Last Rights Batman. We'll be right back. All right, we have the Icons Batman out of package, and I gotta say, and it I shouldn't say it pains me to say, this is a really, really good figure. And I'm I'm one of those that I don't want to sound like a broken record. Um, it's just the scale of the figure that I don't like. Everything else about this figure is great. It's a a wonderfully sculpted figure. It has great articulation, more articulation than we've had from DC collectibles uh, up to this point. Um, everything feels really good, really solid on the figure. Um, I don't feel like there's parts of him that are going to break. If I move him too far, I really feel like that you could actually really play with this and not worry about the figure. That if I you know, got mad and tossed my figure down to the ground, I don't have to worry about him snapping into a million pieces like with some other uh, figures in the line, even the ones that I review here. Uh, that being said, I think for some of us, it's just in the scale of figures. We were kind of hoping like, okay, you're going to do uh, a new scale of figures or a, a new line of figures. Oh, okay, that's all right. I want it to merge with my new 52 figures. It's clearly not going to do that at all. Um, and he really doesn't set very well with the DC Universe Classic figures either. And I'm frantically looking up here. Normally, I'm always so prepared about having uh, figures to review here. Uh, in the Blue Beetle review, uh, you did see me put Blue Beetle up next to um, some DC Universe Classics figures. So you kind of know that he doesn't fit into scale there. And even an Arkham figure... Uh, the Arkham figures are a little bit taller than the new 52 figures would be as well. So at least in DC collectibles right now, we've got three scales going on. And then a fourth in the animated series uh, action figures. And then the designer figures are roughly the same size. A little here. clever editing there. I did have <laughs> a couple figures fall. Uh, basically what I was saying was... Uh, they do list these as six inch. It's really close to six inch. It's five and whatever, as close as we can get to six. Some figures are probably hitting the six inch scale mark. Um, other figures I don't think quite are. Um, I do have a DC Direct uh, old school Origins figure of Nightwing here. And you know he's still taller than that. So, uh, it is what it is. Um, that being said, uh, you know, collecting, you know, many different lines and trying to complete collections and looking at, here's a whole brand new line, which, which is cool. If you're somebody that's just getting in on the ground floor and you didn't collect some of the new 52 figures and you're like, I just want some more traditional characters. You're going to get that plus new 52 plus older continuities. It doesn't sound like they're going to, uh, only just be one continuity. It's going to be multiple uh, universes, uh, if you will, and versions of characters, kind of like the DC Universe Classics did. They just kind of went from era to era and started making figures, which I think will be cool for uh, the people that are uh, that just really don't care about size and scale and go, okay, here's my icon shelf, and I'll just start a whole new collection. I think for me, I'm really going to only focus 
on the Bat Family uh, characters. And what really made me pick this up, like I said in the intro, was uh, the announcement of Batgirl at Toy Fair. So going, okay, we're at least getting Batgirl. We've got to get a Robin. Maybe Grayson will appear uh, in this line. I would like to see him in a designer series so I could put him with a new 52 uh, size figure. But I digress. I know these... Uh, Blue Beetles and Batman's uh, review is going to be a little bit longer just because I feel like I still have so much more to say. So all of my griping out of the way about size and blah, blah, blah. I do really like this figure. So I will go on record and say, I do like it. I do like it. I do like it. I just wish it was bigger. If it was bigger, um, this would be a home run for me and just what I've been currently collecting. But anyway, let's take a look at the figure. Uh, he looks really good. I mean, really, really good. The sculpting is very good. Uh, Ivan Rice has done the sketch work for all of these. So uh, that was something in a Jim Fletcher's video uh, that I watched on YouTube. He said they wanted a constant continuity that you didn't have this person. Like, we made this figure off of this person's look and this person off this uh, artist creator's look. So... Even though we're getting a Killing Joke Joker and Ivan Rice did not draw the Killing Joke, uh, he is doing his version of the Killing Joke Joker um, to make the whole line cohesive. And that's not a knock. That's I think that's a plus that all the figures look like they belong in the same universe. A very cool figure. I love the blue. Um, I've always been a blue and black Batman fan. I love the black and gray, but there's just something I love about the blue and black uh, blue and gray, excuse me, Batman. Uh, but the face sculpt is really, really good. I love the eyes. You can even see the nostrils in the mouth. They really took care uh, in this line. I like how the cape has a little bit of movement to it. It's not just a stagnant cape. It is billowing out a little bit, and the cape is kind of going this way a little bit. So a nice little contour to the cape. I think it's really cool. Uh, let's take a look at the articulation uh, on this guy. And he's got uh, some impressive articulation for DC Collectibles. Uh, the head looks left and right. Uh, my fault with Batman in the articulation department, uh, you can't do much with his head. That's as far as the head is going to look up and down very, very little. So I would have liked a lot more articulation in Batman's head. Maybe other characters will have more. Uh, maybe just due to the way that they sat um, his head on here. Um, again, uh, I, want, I, I think we want a little bit more range of motion in your uh, head for Batman. But aside from that, everything else works wonderfully on this figure. Arms go up about that far, almost the full 90 degrees, which is great. Arms can go all the way around. Even with the cape, it's a nice soft rubber. Uh, bicep swivel, double hinge elbows. I mean... That's great. Uh, there is, I thought there was a rotation in the gauntlet. Doesn't appear to be. There is a rotation in the hand, a hinge in the hand, which the way the glove sits, if I think you can kind of see that there, it does get in the way a little bit of where he will hinge at, but he does. Hands are removable because he has tons of accessories. Uh, we're in close to the uh, chest here. Uh, there is an upper waist swivel. Uh, which is cool. Uh, there is an ab crunch, so we can get a good range of motion there. Uh, legs go forward. Who knows, maybe we'll get an Icons Batmobile since uh, Batgirl comes with a uh, Batgirl cycle. I would think maybe we get a Batmobile. Who knows? Or a Bat Cave playset, wouldn't that be cool? So legs go out about that far. It's still like their classic. Uh, I should say classic, kind of the, the newer New 52 figures, but they really have this uh, worked out a lot better. And it's not clear plastic pegs, which is good. Uh, double hinge knee, boot rotation, and foot uh, hinge and ankle rocker. Very cool figure. Again, um, I'm not disappointed in the figure. It's just the scale. I'm going to quit saying that. So let's take a look at the accessories. He has two closed fists currently on and two open hands to be able to hold batarangs or whatever other accessories you want to give him because it sounds like we're going to get accessory packs for these figures. 
So, I mean, I got to give it to DC Collectibles. They're really going all out for this Icons line. And again, it is a, a cool uh, series, and who knows, maybe I'll be picking up a few more of these than I initially said I was going to, but he holds the Batarang really well. He does come with a third hand, and it's holding the uh, Grapnel, uh, basically what I would call it, this is the Line Launcher. Uh, from the Arkham series. Not from the Arkham series. People want to say it's a grapnel gun. This is a line launcher. You know, shoots out of one side, so you could have Batman slide down it, maybe kind of tie this around one end and hook it on the other, slightly down a little bit, and Batman would slide back and forth. Uh, let's put in hands here that he can hold something to, and they just twist right off. So there we go. I mean, a really cool figure. We can get him in some cool poses here. Um, he's a little loose for me in some of the articulation. Um, not overly stiff, but um, it does work. So that's just quickly trying to pose him. You can get him in some really cool, you know, comic book poses here. Um, I think it's a really cool figure. Uh, let's see what he looks like uh, next to a Blue Beetle, which is the only other figure from the Icon series that I have. Uh, so there's Blue Beetle, and I essentially bought Blue uh, Beetle. Let's try it again. I essentially bought Blue Beetle with in hopes that even though he was, you know, I knew he wasn't going to fit in with the new 52 figures, I thought maybe he will fit in, he'll be that proper teen body size for the new 52 figures that he could work with the Teen Titans. And sadly, he didn't. So he quickly went to my DC UC shelf and is now currently standing with my uh, Young Justice figures. And he looks great with them. So that's kind of where he's standing. If I got more Icons figures that weren't just Bat Family related, then maybe I would pull Blue Beetle back. So I think Blue Beetle... Now that I have Batman, I don't mind Blue Beetle as much, but at the time I think I was really disappointed that Blue Beetle didn't work like I thought he was going to when they were saying that they're six inch uh, figures when they're not. Again, I don't mean, I don't want to beat a dead horse or somebody think, oh Rob, you just complaining about these figures. It's, it's a new scale, a new size, and I think they're great. I think they're cool. Um, I don't know how deep I'm going to go in this line because there's other. There's so many figures that are going to be coming And out. when you have them uh, precariously <laughs> uh, leaning on other things, sometimes they will fall. <laughs> so yes, Batman did take a little bit of a tumble. But I'd have to worry about him falling or breaking apart, and he held on to his Batarang uh, really well. Uh, all that being said, uh, I don't want this to be a negative review at all. I think this is a great-looking figure. And if I'm able to get um, all the primary Batman family... I will be completely happy with this line. Um, I would love to see Robin, and I wouldn't care what version of Robin it is, if it's Damien. If they do Damien in size and scale, I wonder how he'll look. He'd be probably really tiny. Um, a new 52 Dick Grayson Robin would be pretty cool. New 52 uh, Jason Todd, or classic Dick Grayson, or maybe the one year later Tim Drake. This is the last rights uh, Batman, which was kind of tied into... Uh, the Robin series, uh, the Tim Drake Robin series for a little bit as far as the Last Right story went or Batman R.I.P. So we could have a classic Blue Nightwing in here. Uh, anything uh, is up to uh, possibility right now. We have a new 52 or DC YOU uh, Batgirl of Burnside that is going to be coming out uh, later this year. So if I'm able to complete a good chunk of the Bat family, I will be really, really happy. Uh, final thoughts line. on... Uh, the DC Collectibles Batman Icon Last Rights figure. Um, I think this is really, a, it's going to be a fun line. Uh, I want to say that again. I know this video is probably going to go long like Blue Beetles did. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with the particular line. I think it's just size and scale. It's the last time I'm going to say it. But the possibilities and watching uh, some of the... Uh, Toy Fair uh, videos that I've seen online, uh, it looks like this is going to be a solid, solid wave. So if there are people that are were kind of missing the DC Universe classic experience of collecting all those wonderful figures and you came on late to it, 
and you're like, oh, I wish somebody would do something like that again. I think this is going to be a line for a lot of people that are really going to enjoy these figures. Um, excited that uh, I have Batman from this line. He's going to be standing proudly on my shelf. And I'm really hoping it won't be too long before we start seeing other Bat Family characters. So today we've been taking a look at figure number one from the DC Collectibles. I'm forgetting so many lines here. DC Collectibles Icon Line. This is Last Rights Batman. And as always, this is Rob for Rob's Rogues and the BatmanUniverse.net signing off saying we will see you guys next time.